What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today's video I'm going to show you a whole bunch of weird lighters. This is going to be part 3, I did a part 1 and part 2 a while ago so I found quite a few more super unique lighters, also very funny ones as well. So let's see what they're all about. For the first lighter it looks like a keychain propane tank but it actually at the same time a lighter. Flammable gas too. There's a warning sign. This is so cool. Right here in the back that's how you feel it. Adjust the flame small or higher and let's turn it on. Boom! How cool is that? This is probably gonna be my favorite lighter for sure. This is a butane tank that actually built into the lighter. So it's literally mini butane tank. Amazing. Actually pretty good quality as well. Let's try to make a bigger flame. Wow. That's too much flame. So maybe a little bit less. There you go. This is so cool. And I use this gas, refillable. I just poke it like this upside down and when you refill the lighter you want to wait a few hours till it cools off and settles and then it's going to work very good again. For the next lighter this is, looks like a mini grenade on the keychain right here and look there is actually a little pulling down here as well. So it's actually not an electric one, it's flint right here, boom, and it slides up. So it looks like pretty much like a zipper lighter, but on gas, how cool is that? And then when you close this, it shuts it off and does not let the gas come out. But when you open it, you can strike it at any time, you don't even have to hold anything. So it's like a zipper gas lighter, so it's super unique, I've never seen anything like that. When you can just open this thing and the gas coming out. All you have to do is just strike it. Very, very unique design and probably one of the best lighters I've seen for sure. Those zipper lighters you'll have to have like use a white gas. Love it. Strikes every time. This is how you feel it and adjust it. Awesome. For the next lighter, I love these ones. They are so fun. And this is right here is a lobster claw. I have done the crab claw, but this one is different because it's a lobster. This one don't strike as well, you kind of have to hold it and then it will strike, there you go. Once it's strike one time, it's going to work again. Probably a little bit too much flame anyway, so right here minus and plus, get yourself a little screwdriver, go to the minus, there you go. And you kind of have to slowly press it and then it turns on. If you try to click it, it does not light up every single time. You know what, I think it was almost out of gas, that's why it stopped working. Just use your butane refillable gas and it's going to refill it pretty quick. You do not want it to spray everywhere. Not the most reliable lighter. There you go. Pretty much every other one. There you go. So, but at the same time, super unique and funny, and I love the design. For the next lighter, we got here a bowling pin, and let's see how it works. It opens up like that, and it starts flushing everywhere. How cool is that? Very unique. And then you got here a little torch of flame that changes color to green. So it's like a party lighter. Pretty reliable. I love when it's blue flame first and then the element heats up and it turns green flame. Super awesome. And for the next lighter we got here a little old school flip phone. Remember those? This is makes it even better now that these cell phones are super ancient. You can still open it but that's not how you turn it on. You're actually going to use the antenna and turn it on. 
pretty reliable turns on almost every single time so I love this lighter wow every time it turns on that's how you adjust the flame and that's how you feel it as well but there you go mini cell phone lighter but obviously it's not actual cell phone I also have another cell phone right here flip phone but it's not as reliable this one don't work as well for this lighter I got here 8 ball for the pool or billiards whatever you want to call it and it's actually a ball actual round ball so when you set it down and actually can roll it away from you so that's kind of funny and this is how you would turn it on um, right here nope right here and you got a flame in there that's so funny don't you think boom and I'm sure you will have to open this part on the bottom nope actually right here boom you can take this out the paint pushes out and then you can refill it or make a bigger flame I feel like the flame was too small let's try to make it a bigger flame yeah that's a little better but I think we can do better looks like it's almost out of gas anyway so I'll just have to refill it first and refilling it is easy just hold it like this that's it and then you just hold it for a while and you refill your lighter pretty universal that's how this butane lighters get refilled there you go and this flame is a lot bigger now ooh do you see it it comes off from the other side so maybe we should close it a little bit wow this is why they say when you refill lighters close them off and don't try to turn them on for a while because they do this weird stuff so that way butane settles and stuff for the next one I love vegetable and fruit lighters especially the food ones boom they said here a pepper I mean jalapeno and you turn it on like this and why did it turn such a small flame that's so weird I did just filled up this lighter so it was acting up on me so let's make a little bigger flame whoa that's it that's much better once again this is how you would adjust the flame but again when you refill your lighter let it sit for a couple hours because they acting up a little bit look at that I think it's almost out of gas that's why it's like shoots off so much flame in the beginning love this lighter so cool and for the next lighter I got here Visa credit card check this out it's a lot thicker that's how you refill it adjust it boom there is a flame and the bottom actually pops out like this and then you have to hold it a little and then it turns on it's a little blowtorch there you go and for the next lighter I got here two different wrenches they look exactly the same but they work differently this one actual whole wrench opens up I really like this design a lot I love when there is moving parts that actually need to open up that's my favorite and this one not really opens like that but this bottom piece comes off and lights up also very cool feature but I like this kind of designs way better when actual piece opens up but both very reliable range lighters would be perfect for Father's Day gift for sure and I got here a Red Bull lighter that's pretty cool a keychain lighter huge flame on it I just filled it up sometimes this is what happens when you just fill up a lighter and you need to adjust it so that way it's not such a big flame unless you like big flame no that's too much still 
There you go. Now it's more manageable. But there you go. A little Red Bull lighter. I don't think they make them anymore, but this is super cool. Very reliable lighter as well. I like this one a lot. Maybe every third time it doesn't light up. But every other time it works. And for the last one, this is probably my favorite one in this pile of funny and weird lighters. This is a mini hot dog lighter, there's still a sticker on it, I can take it off and it will look even cooler. But this is what it looks like. There's a master on top of it, hot dog and two buns. So how do you turn it on? There is a little arrow up and this arrow down. Well what you will do is hold it like this and just push it up and down. Oh, right here, boom, so like that. This button right here slides down and it slides up the lighter. I love it. And it's also very reliable lighter. It sparks up every single time. So very high quality, everything made from metal. And look at this hot dog. It looks so well. It actually looks like a hot dog. And right here that's how you would refill it and adjust the flame. My favorite lighter right here for sure. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Kids do not play with lighters. Adults keep away lighters and matches from the kids, obviously. And also, let me know in comments below which lighter was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.